In this demo, I will demonstrate how one can use the new consistent PLS factor-based algorithms in War PLS. Starting in version 6.0, these algorithms are available. So I have uh, a model here with the results. Uh, I will copy this into an Excel file so that I can compare with the results of uh, a new analysis. So this analysis here was conducted using PLS regression, which is a composite-based algorithm. I will go to the option Settings, View and Change, General Settings. And now I will choose one of the consistent PLS factor-based algorithms. They are these here. These algorithms are also factor-based, and below PLS regression, I have only composite-based algorithms, which approximate the factors through composites, which are exact linear combinations of the indicators. Factor-based algorithms uh, estimate factors, estimate the true factors as aggregations of the indicators and measurement error. These three algorithms are factor-based, and they share a common characteristic that they use Cronbach's alpha for the estimation of uh, measurement error weights. These four factor-based algorithms, starting at PTH2, going to CFM3, they uh, use Dijkstra's uh, row A, or Dijkstra's consistent PLS reliability, to estimate the uh, weights of the measurement errors. CFM3 is an algorithm that uses consistent PLS reliabilities as well as loading, so it tends to be very computationally efficient. CFM2 uses only the consistent PLS reliabilities to calculate all of the other parameters. REG2 departs from the composite created by PLS regression and then generates a factor based on that using uh, consistent PLS reliabilities. And PTH departs, PTH2 departs from uh, a composite which is actually an aggregator, uh, a summed uh, aggregation of the indicators. And then from that composite, it obtains factors again using. Uh, consistent PLS uh, reliabilities. Uh, these two, as well as CFM1, they are the ones that most closely uh, comply or meet uh, common factor model uh, assumptions. So I'll use this one, CFM3. I'll save my settings. I'll redo the analysis. And here are my results. I'm going to compare them with the results that I had from the previous analysis using uh, PLS regression. So as we can see here, as, as it's common uh, when one uses factor-based algorithms, is that the uh, path coefficients, they tend to be underestimated uh, based on composite-based algorithms. and the true values or, or the values that are estimations of the true values, they tend to be higher, and these are generated based on the factor-based algorithms. For example, this path here has a coefficient which is 0.51 uh, with a factor-based algorithm. Uh, in this path here, uh, estimated with PLS regression, which is a composite-based algorithm, has a path of 0.35. So this concludes this demo on how to use the new consistent PLS-based, factor-based algorithms in WAR PLS starting version 6.0.